Hello there and welcome back to another episode in uh, Stranded Alien Dawn. So, we are on day 11 and yes, it does not look like we have a lot of stuff in here, but um, if you, in case you didn't see the previous episode, then uh, we actually started at the corner of the map somewhere there and um, transporting everything over took a bit of time and, oh, we've discovered grain grass. Oh, well, we did. Okay. I thought I didn't spot anything, but perhaps Lara... Oh, it was here this whole time. Ah, I see. Okay, so in the other planet, the, um, the grain looks a little bit different, I'm pretty sure, but... Well, that's great news. I mean, what we are gonna do is, um, we do want lots of it down straight away. So if the house goes here... Temporary house, okay, I guess it can be somewhere there, that's fine. And over here... Uh, no, that's the prime spot, so why don't we... I guess we can squeeze you in here. Yeah, let's let's do that. We can cut it down later. So, uh, Mysterious Calling. Right, the calling intensified when I reached its source. A book of all things half buried in dirt was as if staring at me. I reached out to touch it, and with a soft whoosh, it crumbled to a thin dust. A feeling of relief came over, over me, and with it, the knowledge of a special place not too far from here. Um, come back now, it could be visited later. Um, how are you feeling right now? You're feeling pretty good. Okay, so why don't you go there right away? I found the circle of small rocks around an effigy made from rusty scrap. A uh, thing like that in the middle of nowhere is an uncanny sight, but it doesn't give off a bad vibe. I feel like enter entering the circle and paying respects to the uh, rusty figure in the middle. Okay, sure. Let's see what happens. Uh, as I got near the effigy, it sprang to life and clung its mishap in arms around me. Locked in its tight grip and pierced by the metal parts, I struggled to get away and then it spoke. It told of a mystic who visited this planet on his journey to find knowledge and enlightenment. Upon departing, he decided to leave behind a piece of his consciousness. So he wrote the diary and built the effigy as protector of his knowledge. I received this knowledge at the price of my blood. Max out intellect skill. Whoa. Hold on a second. Okay, it's fine. It's just scratches. Hope he's not gonna die. Do we have any bandages? Wait a second. Workbench. Craft. Okay, we can make some. Are we... Mm, okay. Until, let's say, we need like... Minimum of... Probably six of this couple spare ones as well. Well, that's a lovely turn of events. Quinn is now maxed out on the intellect skill. So if you take a look over here, oh yeah, that is lovely. The research is gonna happen so quickly now. Okay, so what is happening today? Quinn seems to be still returning, so it's gonna take quite a bit of time. Oh, wait a second, minus five right now at 6 a.m. Yikes, okay, yeah, we're gonna need some um, stuff down. Let's look at the research as well, 64% on the uh, concrete rooms. We've got some bandages bandages now, so as soon as Quinn lands, we can uh, heal him up, which I hope is gonna be soon. Let's have a look, Nova, what are you doing? You're planting some greens for us. Anyways, Lara, what are you up to? You're helping to plant as well, oh, of course, yeah, you are our harvester. Or gardener, and um, again, you are crafting, so that's good. Emeline is cooking. Do we have some new recipes now as well? No, it's still the same ones. Tasty, we are gonna need some grain and oils and fats as well. Okay, well, we are healing Quinn up right now, so that's good. Let's have a look. Illness, infection, mild. Oh no, can we do all oh, antibiotics? Okay. But we don't... Oh, we might have some grains. Okay, so... Ken, I think I want you to uh, construct this because we don't have any antibiotics, so... I'm gonna have to produce some... Yeah. Alright, do this real quick. And... Hold on a second. We don't have the research just yet because we don't have grain. Okay, you guys, can we harvest some over here? Grain grass. Do we have more harvest? Yep. 
Okay, it's kind of funny how I didn't see any green uh, grass in the last episode because I thought it's um, the plant itself looks a lot different. Okay, we've got the concrete rooms now, which means we should be able to start baking a bit of concrete. I think we'll go up to like 200 because we are not going to use those stones for too many things. Got some more fuel as well, so that's very handy. I think as soon as Quinn heals up, we'll send him on the next expedition. Yeah, lost harvest 20. Okay, well... We got a little bit, so that's good. And have we... Is it planted? Well, 2,000 is quite excessive, but... It's fine. 88 wood. How are you going? Average growth is 57%, so not so bad at all. We do want a, a few more trees. It seems we are getting a little low on that. Hold on a second. Are those not trees? These are not trees. Fine. 15... Got them down. There we go. Quinn, what are you up to? And how are you feeling now? A few fun things to do. I know, but such is life. Ember isn't feeling too great either. Okay, happiness, fullness, rest. Yep, go and get some more rest as well. A few of you guys now cutting down those trees, which is good. Let's um, observe you as well. Okay. Um, bit of a shame how... They arrive at night. Huge purple mantis as well. And oh no, not these guys. Well, they are, they are ranged, so it's a bit more difficult. You are, are a little bit tired. Wait a second. That's quite far from us. Uh, that is far from ideal. Uh, so you're going to be quite tired. What about everyone else with weapons? Yeah, this isn't good at all all. It's really far away and our crew is pretty tired as well. How about we do that um, Ember? Let's have a look. We are going to drop this weapon on the ground. Emlyn, okay, and you as well. Ken and Emlyn could go over, which means Nova. I do want you to uh, drop your weapon right now. Okay, great. Ken, uh, Ember, what are you doing? Okay, fine. Drop it over there. Ken, nope. Come over here. And you are gonna get the sniper rifle, Emlyn, pulse rifle. We're gonna have to go over and uh, hopefully get rid of that infestation over there. Got the brick rooms done now as well, which means... Ooh, oil extraction. Nope, not this one. Let's do antibiotics first. Yep, let's do it this way. Okay, one by one. Let's see if we can... Oh, deflect it. Are they all attacking? Oh no, eight of them. Okay. Hang on a second. Nope. This is not good. Run. What are you doing? Oh, he's very fast. Oh dear. Run. This is not looking good. I thought it's going to turn around. Are they all attacking? No, just three of them. Come on, keep running. Who else do we have? No one's awake. Okay, Ken. Whilst Emlyn is running away and hopefully not dying. Oh wow, that's some big hits. Now turn around. Help us out, will ya? Okay, Emlyn, let's see. Bleeding for... Um, <laughs> I think we're gonna have to let you heal up a little bit. Let's see who else has their rest meter filled up. Nova, Quinn. Nova, grab this, please. And then, um, let's see, Ken. We are gonna try and... Oh no, we are going to have to go pretty close up. I hope they retreat a little bit. Got another event here as well. A bit of a shooting star, it seems. Okay, cool. Have they started leaving already? Yes, they have. As soon as you can, please start shooting as well. And uh, Nova, you can make your way over here now. Take this one. Okay, he's going to start shooting us from a distance. 
So please run. Oh, wait a second. Let's get rid of him. Is this old crane? No, it's not. Um, here we go. Take him down. Actually, I'm not sure if these ones are ranged as well or not. No, okay. Cool. Nova, how far are you? Keep coming this way. Oh, I think we were able to shoot someone already. There we go. All of them are attacking now. Oh no, there was one over here. Maybe we can uh, bait them. Nope, no, no. Go this way. Okay, take him out. Lovely. Uh, right, we still have one of those big ones. Ooh, let's see. You're going this way, so keep running. Missed. Oh no. Missed as well. Okay, good hit. Keep running. Okay, there we go. Where can we run from here? Oh dear. This is not looking good. Ken. Take him out. You ready to shoot? Where's the big one? Okay, so that's still uh, following us as well, which is good. Can uh, maybe this one, Nova. Okay, good. That's two of them down. Oh, here comes the big one. Nope, can keep running. Okay, that's not good. Uh, right, right, right. Yeah, we're definitely gonna get injured over here. Ken is a little overwhelmed as well. No, okay, keep running. Where's he going now? Okay, he's coming up the hill. Oh, nope, he's coming back now. Don't stop. Keep going this way. Ah, oh, you missed. Helpless Nova, come on. Oh, there's another one coming. It seemed like this, uh, this guy wants to help us out as well. Where's the big one again? Oh, he's gone that way. Okay, fine. Can you shoot? No. Close, though. Okay, one more shot. Come on. You missed. Oh, there's another big one coming and a tiny one. Since you guys are fighting, that's fine by us. Nova, if you can do it this way. Okay, we do want to have one more big hit over there. Oh no, he's shooting now. Yep. He's definitely shooting. Get rid of those. Oh no. Yeah, that big one is kind of... No. No, not a miss. Okay. We're going. If we can get one hit, come on. Miss again. Okay, I want you to shoot that one. This one cannot be a miss. Okay, good hit, good hit. There's another big one coming from there. Nope, don't stop, Ken. Do not. Okay, that one's down, that's good. So you just need one more hit. We should try and bait them around a little bit. Oh wow, that's taken bleeding out in one day. Not good. Oh, oh dear, that was intense. Nova, how are you feeling? You seem fine. 
Unit Treatment ASAP. Oh wow, okay. Are we treating our friends already? Ember. Let's see, treat it, treat it, that's good. And these guys are running home now as well. Where is Quinn? Quinn is here. Are you clearing the space now? That is lovely. Okay, got some cement already. Few stones. Okay, so I think we can speed up the time now. Yeah, these three... It's gonna slow us down a little bit, but I think we'll be we'll be okay. Gives us a few more days until the next attack, and I too wanna start probably putting up some of those walls as well. Don't think we wanna use the stone, but we're gonna go for the brick walls instead. Okay, scavenge, it's 45, 6 degrees outside. Oh no, all this food and stuff. We are gonna have to get it all indoors. Pretty much ASAP. Now, what's the next thing we want to do? Fireplace. I don't think we have any problems with that. Oh, we might want to have these um, areas fenced off as well because some of that wildlife might come and nibble on some of our food, I believe. Now, you're transporting. I think most of the tasks should be done soon so we can uh, continue focusing on construction of that house over there. All that cement A is going to take a little bit longer yeah to cook it up so um, we'll uh, just build it very slowly so discovery heptagonia sweet, uh, sweet syrup we can uh, plant some of that later as well if we really need it Emlyn has nothing to do because there's nothing else to cook I'll look at the activities real quick as well oh yeah maybe we do add a couple things back over here rafting is one but you could maybe help out with some simple tasks yeah let's use wood over here just to get most of it constructed three four five yep that's how we how we want it okay same on the other side as well i think what we can do is not turn them all into bedrooms but also a bit of storage facilities as well so, right, all we're gonna need is a couple of doors. We'll do one over here. And let's see if these two are storages. These could be bedrooms in here. Or a few people that are a bit more unhappy. Okay, I think that's enough doors now. Okay, scavenged a bit more food. We have musical instruments as well, so... Sure, why don't you guys just have a couple of these things keep you a little bit happier and later of course we can move them elsewhere all right there we go so concrete have a little bit but not a lot we can start putting down some floors hopefully uh, it seems to be going a little bit uphill over here so let's have a quick uh, top down view as well the house is yeah pretty much going to be dead in the center over here so if we start from this corner, it still leaves us plenty of space on that side. Right, right, right. So let's make sure we only get it to like 3. So 10 by 10 should be 300. 10 by 20 we can't do. So let's do a 10 by 10 over here. Yep, 300. That's good with us. Insufficient materials. Yes, we do know that. Uh, right now it's early in the morning. Quinn, how are you feeling? Got a bit of fuel, right? Yeah, 87. So we could do a, another expedition. As soon as you go and grab some food, are you hungry? No, you're just transporting. Okay, fine. A shooting star. Why don't we go and check this out with when it's only five hours away, so... Yep, yeah, there we go. Toxic ash. Oh, no. We need those walls up, like, ASAP. Especially if it's gonna stick around for quite some time. Right. Quinn is on expedition... I want you to start constructing. Same with Ember as well. Yeah, that's not really our focus right now. Our focus is going to be getting walls and also roof up. We do have hay and that's growing nicely over here as well. It's awful insulator. How far are those trees? About 77%, so perhaps we can uh, waste a few logs. Okay, there we go. It's not too bad. Have a look yep everything's covered expedition complete they discovered some interesting rocks so or deposit oh okay 
that's lovely. That means we can turn them into metal alloys. But I think we can uh, start relocating some of these stockpiles pretty soon as well. But first, I do want them to finish the construction of this little project that we do have over there. Logs are starting to get a little bit lower, so we probably want to cut a few more trees. Let's get um, all of them down, actually. I'm probably going to increase the size of this farm over here as well. Let's have a look. We've got these trees. Just want to make sure that we are going to have enough. And if we, even if we don't need them, we can just uh, uncheck the harvesting so they can... Oh, that's not the trees. That's the trees. 28%. It does take a long time to get them down. Risk of meltdown, Ken. Crushingly unhappy, insufficient food variety, a few fun things to do. Well, there are a couple more things now. So, someone is sick as well, blood poisoning. Oh, that's from the toxic ash. If we still have some fuel, we could send Quinn offside, but I have a feeling that right now, our priority should be getting everything constructed. Crafting is quite important as well. Yeah, let's move you to two. Research uh, might be more important actually. What are we doing? There isn't any high priority things right now, so... Yep, let's do rafting and maybe on one, this one on two. Okay, since everyone is awake, uh, yes, they are gonna have sort of mood penalties, but I think it's better if they sleep indoors. Over here, over here. There we go. Look, don't get me wrong, it's lovely that you are uh, constructing this foundation over here, but I think that's a uh, slightly higher priority. As soon as we get this done, we are going to put some storages over here. And for this one, I think we are... Let's see, crafting materials, probably off. Electronics can remain, because we don't have a lot of this stuff. Food is the main priority that we do want to have in here, though. All oh, right, we were supposed to actually swap around some weapons as well. Did forget about it. So, okay, you're eating, but as soon as you're done, if we could uh, swap this out, there we go. Distress signal. Hmm. Quinn, how are you feeling? Don't really have a weapon, but... That's fine, we'll give you that one. Emlyn, I think you're gonna have nothing. I'd like to give Quinn a weapon, especially when he goes on some of those missions. He's probably gonna need a way to defend himself. So it says no cute research over here. So do we have anything that we desperately need right now? Not really is what I want to say. Okay, let's uh, send you on an expedition. It is one o'clock right now, but uh, yeah, what's wrong with you? Sad wonder, okay. Fine. Ken, where are you? Food, still complaining about food. Okay, do we have any tasty recipes? Oh, yes we can. We can do the uh, tasty pizza over there. And how much grain do we have? 200 only. Okay. I think grain's probably one of those things that we may want to increase a little bit as well. Just for now. I mean, it is six survivors, so... Heat wave, eight degrees higher, so that's not too bad. And I think the toxic ash seems to be over now as well, so that's good. Okay, so the foundation is coming along pretty, uh, pretty nicely. We still have plenty of rocks as well, so we can slowly start expanding. I guess in some ways it doesn't matter where our farms go. I am thinking maybe more like on this side. Seems to be like um, that the fertile land is a little bit more accessible here. Or actually down here might be good as well, because this ground is a bit more uneven. Yeah, let's put the farms on the hill, so that means we can build our base on the flat surface over here. And then, um, yeah, this is a point of entry, so we are going to have to fence this. Not completely fence it off, because we want the box to still pathfind into our base. Okay, so at the crash site, I uh, won't be able to scavenge everything in one go. Well, let's see what happens. I hope he's not going to die. I can hear it is coming. High risk. Uh, no, let's just run away then. I would like to move our 
dining spot a little bit closer. Might even put it indoors, to be honest. Move everything in one go. Yes, we can. So that's good. Okay, great. And same, as soon as they do this one row, we are going to relocate everything else as well. But uh, let's just do it in baby steps. Uh, right. This way might be a little bit better. All right, okay, so bit trickier over here, but I think we're fine. And you can go here. Now, when it comes to power producers, solar panels and wind turbines, what is a shame, we don't have any improvements for the solar panels or wind turbines. So now flooring, yep, let's um, start the expansion over here. I guess we can expand this way a little bit. If it allows us... Okay, well, wait a second, wrong click. We can go till about here. Bit by bit, we shall expand this area. And in a second, we'll be able to figure out the exact layout of the building as well. So yeah, what I'm thinking is, since we have access point through this hill over here, we are going to need a kill zone. Well, we can't place it diagonally. Could face it this way, and then they go out and up. And same over here, I do want to make another kill zone, maybe directly through here. And then as soon as we are starting to harvest some of those fields, I'd like to relocate them on this side instead. Yeah, that will be a bit better. And now what we can also do is let's uh, move you here as well. Okay, when it comes to plants, let's have a quick look again. 48 on the bombs. And... Cloth Blossoms, 61, 96 on the blade grass. so he is with us very soon. This one's 88%, you are done already, which is fantastic. And that's going to give us Juice Leaf, uh, 38%, oh you're actually pretty slow as well. Maybe that's the first thing we start, expand that one a little bit because that's pretty slow to grow and we might want to have some more tea balls with us slightly slightly quicker and right so next one defenses what's the most abundant abundant resource right now i think wood is still a-okay like we have a tiny bit around us hmm same time yeah it's not a lot okay so what we'll do is let's expand this even further yes it may seem excessive but again i'd rather have access to a few more trees than completely run out of it right so the floor plan is i think kitchen is going to be more towards south side over here because that's where all of our farms are yeah, it's not going up the hill here, is it? No. Okay, just want to make sure before we lock it down and start constructing. Actually, what will be easier is we will go as far as we can on this side. So then we know where the corner is going to be. Right, there we go. So that's the corner. Now, the next thing we do want to do, we have some metal alloys. I do also want to start baking up some... Yeah, bricks is what we want, but... Could make some more alloys, but no, you're focusing purely on the concrete right now. So how about we construct a... One, two, three, four, and then maybe two? Because we are going to need a lot of bricks. Yep, let's do that. So... Concrete over here, in those, those four. Okay, and these four will be bricks. And this one will be metal alloys. Cool. So that's starting to go well. If we get a couple of bricks in today, then we shall start placing down those walls. So what I'm thinking, yeah. So kitchen is going to be somewhere in this corner. What I want to happen is they go in from here. And right at the entrance, we will have storage on the right-hand side. Or in the middle. Maybe in the middle. Anyways, first the storage for the food kitchen right next to it or we might even have it inside it next to the uh, food storage and then uh, meals will be kind of like next to the kitchens as well the ready-made meals yeah the dining room i think bedrooms can be on the sides that is fine 
And then if we produce, let's say, trees over here, and maybe some other things as well, we can have the sort of... Um, oh, here we go. Here's some uh, bricks already. We can have the crafting room right at the top there. The middle is kind of like the lounge area. Let's um, see. Okay, how many bricks? Only 10. But that will have to do... Hold on a second. Let's see. Medium thermal insulation. Okay, so this one's good. Concrete is good as well, but I feel bricks is going to be easier to make because it takes... Oh, wow. Why do they always arrive at night? Yeah, you just take hay, so it's... Hold on a second. They are pretty close to us. How tired are you guys? Not too... Okay, you are eating... Sorry, guys, but we are going to have to to get rid of the those enemies over here. There's quite a few of them this time. Okay, that thing is aggressive over there. We are gonna start shooting straight away then. Okay, one down. Many to go. Let's see. If we go into the open field over here, might be a little bit easier. Here we go. Quinn, you're up. Okay, 80%. You're... Oh, you're still going to eat. Come on, move faster, guys. I think it's time for you to move. Yep. Shoot this one, Quinn. Run. Alright, here we go. I think I want you to shoot that one. Both of you, retreat a little bit. And shoot. Can we take this one down? Yep, we can. Alright, lovely. Are you still alive? No, you are not. Let's see if you can... Oh, there's someone hiding over there. Gwen. Nope, Ember. Why don't you take someone that has a bit more health? Like that one over there. Okay. Lovely. Good work, team. Another one down. That big hippo is now chasing us. Nope. Never mind. One shot. Alright, how many more do we have? One, ten... Oh, someone was hiding in the... in the bushes over here. Where are you guys? Okay, you're a little further out, it seems. Ken, I think it's time for you to come and help us as well. Shoot this one down, Ken. Hopefully you can knock him out. Beautiful. Okay, he's unconscious. Shoot this one, Ken. Are you... Okay, I think he's coming. Okay, that one's down as well. Beautiful. Ember, I think we are going to go for the next one. Oh, hold on a second. Someone has just woken up. Lovely. Well, we might not even need Ken, actually. Well, you are here now, so we're the last few. Oh, there was one over here. Where's the big guy? Over there. One over there, tiny one here, okay. How about, can you take care of this one? And we start heading up. Where is it again? Over there, okay. Ken and Quinn. That is your mission. Ember, actually, you can go now as well. Alright, lovely. That's a little too close, maybe. Okay, I think we're done now. Undraft, everyone can resume with their... with the day. Let's uh, butcher up a few of these guys as well, so we get a bit of meat. Here we go. You've taken down this animal. Okay. Cool. So, what have you guys been up to? Not much, it, it seems. Okay. Uh, these ones are gonna grow slow. Same with you guys. That's fine. And I think 
we shall remove this field completely now. Some statues? No, I don't think we really want to build them just yet. Although I've never built them, I'm not sure if they're gonna give them a bit of a boost in their mood as well. We got the first aid kits now, that is lovely. Yep, we can start placing down some of these walls. I don't think we need you anymore. And I feel it's time to get rid of the food, weapons, medicine. I think most of those things can go indoors now. Cactus slime. Okay, another thing is ready to be harvested. Insufficient storage space. Well, why don't we create some more then? And let's add a few more shelves for our base. Anything else we can research, what is important, none of those things. Power, probably yes. It turns insect meat, ooh, that is actually not a bad thing. Taming hay cloth, turning hay into cloth, so we don't need the... Oh, okay, interesting. Depends which one grows faster, actually. Where's our field of hay? This one over here. So what do you say? Growth time? Five days. Okay, cloth is eight days. Is it? Time to harvest. Growth time five. So that's three days quicker, if that's correct, of course. Which might be very useful, of course, but um, yeah. Is there anything else that is a bit more important? No, it, it's just everything on this side, really. Yeah, it's a couple of things we can do, but I, I really want, the, want our bricks to start going a little bit faster. So what we could do is let's copy this over okay and place you here like so to further increase our production and um, to make it a little bit easier let's place a stockpile right over here and the only thing we will store here is going to be hay okay that's gonna make it a little bit easier and quicker so that they don't have to run all the way there i mean with all these resources actually it would benefit us greatly if we bring them closer. Okay, so once we get into our deck tree, what will be the first one? Probably preserving some food. Yeah, especially in these hot days. So we'll add you there. Some beer would be nice as well. Why don't we do that one too, actually, just to make them a little bit happier. I'm pretty excited to see. I mean, it's a little bit early, but I definitely want to see how those mechs work as well. Like, do you... Is a self-efficient, operator-controlled mech. Okay, so we do need someone in there. It's not like a, you know, drone in a way. That's controlled remotely. But yeah, pretty excited to see how they, they work out. Hungry bests. Oh, you guys are close. It is almost night time. But I think we are... Okay, all four of you, get over here. Yeah, we need uh, fencing around this area, like ASAP. I have to remove this, build a fence through, and then later, of course, we can expand it as well. We just need something down. Oh, we are gonna disturb a few of them. Oh, maybe not. Okay. So, you guys... How many? Two of them are attacking. Okay, that's alright. I want you to get the uh, the ones that are slightly further away. Here we go. Oh, let's put this back so it's a little bit easier. Ember, it would be better if you attack the ones that are slightly further away. Okay, there we go. Let's spread you guys out a little bit more as well. No, where are you guys running? 23 left. Okay, so that's quite a few. Yeah, maybe the three of you can go on a little mission here together. Okay, there we go. Who are you guys attacking? Okay, maybe it's the other way around. Maybe the wildlife is... Oh, yeah. Did you guys just run away all the way down there? I think they did. Well, that's a little bit annoying. And few are even even here. Okay, get on that ridge over there. Then we see if we can do a bit, bit of best control. 
Oh wow, okay, that's a little bit too close. Yeah, seems quite a few of them are down in that valley now. Was there any more on this side? Animal attack too. Okay. Yeah, they come, but Ember is pretty amazing at what she does. Oh, that one's coming closer. Come on, quick. There we go. Falling spaceship debris. Okay. Also fairly close to us. Let's have a look. Are they all down in this valley now? No. So I think all of you guys can go get rid of that one. Oh, you found someone. Oh, come on, guys. Let's get this done. I know it's a little bit darker, so hit um, or our shooting might uh, miss them sometimes. Are they all attacking now? Oh, yeah, looks like it. Okay, you guys, get over here. Nope, Amber, keep running. Don't turn around. Okay, now you turn around. So I think a couple of you guys, let's see, who's uh, struggling the most? Nova. You can go home. Same with you as well. So we just keep Ken and Ember around. Although you guys are going to get tired pretty soon as well, but what are you doing? No. Shoot this one, then you shoot that one. Where is the second? Okay, so these are the last two. Do you know what? Ember, you are too good at what you're doing, so Ken, you can go home as well. Just one final. And there we go. Lovely. Scavenged debris here. Insufficient materials. So yeah, after dealing with the bug infestation, we are pretty much ready to shift our priorities again. In the background, we'll uh, continue building this, uh, this building, this new house that we do want to get up as quick as we can maybe starting with the the kitchen area and some individual beds as well because the quicker we get them out from there from the shared room the better it will be perhaps it's time to check some of our recipes as well any new tasty ones or ooh, okay this one looks pretty good so you're gonna need some alcohol and some fruits so maybe a couple of them so over here probably gonna bring some stone a, a little bit closer to us let's do it like so, and once again, just remove everything, except, let's have a look, stone and cement will be fine in this area. And there we go, so once the hay is a little bit closer, it's gonna speed up our working time as well. Yeah, I'm still very undecided and undecisive about the, the walls, I mean there are a few more trees over here we might be fine just don't want to use up all the logs and then uh, having to wait such a long time but okay uh, five integrity 20 but it, it is i think okay fine the this is some of the worst fencing we can do however we just want to funnel the enemies into a kill zone okay so let's say the kill zone for this one that's the center. We probably want to do it from somewhere here. Okay. Let's say something like this to start with. That's already 46 logs. Wow. Okay. No, let's uh, keep it a little bit cheaper than 60. Okay. Fence door. We'll stick one over here as well so that they can go into a bit of farming. Lovely. Alright, so there we go. It is a little slow progress, of course. However, what are we? Day 24, we had to hike all the, way, all the way from the other side of the map. I think it took us like 8 days, if not more, just to get everything over and get started over here. So yeah, now that we do have the foundation in place, or some of it at least, most of the plants are already growing as well, so I think our food situation should be fine, because we don't have terrible winters in... Uh, on this planet at least. And yeah, the occasional attacks from the bugs and all those animals are of course slowing us down a little bit, but I think overall it's not a bad progress so far and in the next episode what we'll do as well is continue getting the defensive perimeter in and then after that 
obviously focus on the housing have a look through some of our crafting recipes as well and as soon as some of those plants are ready we will try and relocate them a little bit i think everything is that that is on this side is fine for the time being but i think in this corner here they might be a little in our way so so yeah i think that should be enough for this episode thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next episode